Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask in the world. Today we're testing masks that I randomly found in my garage. That's right, looking at the HDX N95 respirator from our friends at Home Depot. We're not actually friends, it's kind of a, we're not even to find the relationship yet, so I don't wanna you know, be too forward. Uh, if I look on their website, out of stock online, doesn't look like they're making it anymore. Home Depot does have their own line of, of some of these things. Um, you know, I'm not really sure what's made. You can tell this, uh, this is horrible. I have no idea how well, this is really a test of like, if you find a random N95 in your garage that you bought like six years ago because you were gonna spray paint like, you know, like a project for your you know, son's you know, middle school thing, right? <laughs> and uh, you forgot about it and then COVID happened and you're like, oh, N95s, those are important. I wonder if this is any good. This is a test for that. That's really why I grabbed this because I have no idea, I have no recollection of buying this and, and here it is. So let's see, let's see how well it does. So this is the uh, H950. I don't think they're really making this anymore. Um, it's got the nose foam on the top. It's just a simple cup and it actually has, funny enough, uh, the surgical uh, covering on it to protect you from you know, splashes, et cetera. So I'm gonna be using our uh, get up here that is made for respirators. Uh, this is not the official way, as I keep saying, that um, NIOSH would be testing it because NIOSH is, they're using very complicated, like it's just very messy. They use uh, beeswax to kind of seal the mask. Um, but we're doing all the math here to kind of give us the same result. This isn't what we even use for our actual testing of our respirators, just so you know. This is just because I'm lazy and I don't like getting sticky. That's what she said. Uh, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. I'm gonna put a link there that shows more about our setup if you're really interested. And I know you're not because no one clicks on it ever, ever. Three people have ever clicked on it and all of them are my mom. I know, I'm watching you, mom. Uh, this is gonna show us here the airflow resistance, which is actually really great, super breathable. Like we want that to be under 250 and it's at 100. I've seen some as low as uh, uh, under 100, sub 100, but that's really good, especially for being so old. I'm pretty sure this guy is made in uh, China, but I'm trying to see if they'll say it on this uh, sheet here. It's not really telling me. I mean, this is back, this was made back in the day when this is like if you're painting, sanding, that sort of thing. Um, it, you know, it, th this I was not made with the idea of something like to prevent COVID from spreading. And so that's why when I'm looking at this, the fact this is probably like five or six years old, and I literally have zero, zero memory of where this thing came from. I'm actually pretty impressed. Let's just do this live. Look at that. 99.49% great breathability. Home Depot, you made a good mask that stood the test of time. That's always very interesting. But again, like, you know, when you're looking for something quality, look at that, you know, look for that, um, that, uh, that, the TC number that's on the outside of a, it's actually printed on every N95 mask is the TC number. You can look it up and see if it's valid. There's pictures online. Like most people don't know enough to, uh, to counterfeit these, not even like my garage. So great mask. Uh, I would wear it, probably, um, and it looks like really solid construction, so, yeah, that's it, that's all I got. This is a, just a quick one, just a quickie, just wanted to see what happened, and, uh, you know, pretty good. 99.457, 99.457, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm running out of masks, we've tested so many, that's not true, I've got about a couple hundred more, but if you have a mask you want me to test, hit me up. First, here's the steps, here's the steps, you ready? You want me to test a mask? I will do it. Number one, give me a like, okay? That's very important, I will check. Number two, give me a subscribe. I won't check on that one though, that's a freebie. Uh, number three, send me the mask on the address below. I'll give you a shout out, I'll test your mask and I will catch you on that next test. Thank you so much.